Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come your way and minister God's word to you. This week we'll be talking about mentorship. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. When we look at the life and the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, he often stopped to talk with people, people who had needs, people who had questions, people who were poor, ill, doubtful, and so on. Now, this took a lot of time and a lot of energy. Jesus understood self-care and made time for prayer and, and to be quiet away from everyone. But he also made himself radically available for whomever he met. Even as he prepared to ascend to, the hev to heaven, Jesus promised to his disciples that I am with you always to the very end of age. He did not abandon his disciples to the task. Jesus has given us his spirit to walk with us whenever we face challenges. The spirit is always here and God is with us. As mentors, we can't match the 24-7 availability of the Holy Spirit, but we can choose to give people high priority. Jesus made time for people and reminds us that whatever we do for others, we do for Him. In the Spirit of Christ, mentors make themselves available to help others along the way. May we be ready to serve, guide, redirect, encourage, confront, teach, share, testify, question, understand, advise, and mentor others as Jesus did by the Holy Spirit. In John 5, Jesus comes to Jerusalem during important feasts to make God's love and grace available to people. Jesus puts himself in a place that makes him accessible to everyday people. Now, this group of people had serious health problems and had to come to a place where legend says was a place of healing. John, however, will remind us once again in the subsequent verse that Jesus catches up all the legend, tradition and meaning of his Jewish heritage and make, makes it all come alive in himself. He is the great healer, not legend, not tradition, and not the feasts. This healer makes himself available to common everyday folks like you and me. In the Lord's strength, are you available for others and thus for him to work through us and in us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for this calling that you have given us to go and make disciples. And even as we do that, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will empower each one of us, no matter what phase of life we are in, oh God. We may be college students, working professionals, homemakers. I pray, God, that you will fill us with your Holy Spirit to be channels of your blessing to people around us, to mentor, to train, to advise, to build up each other for the work of your kingdom. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.